of the things that I really like about Revit is that we can save a lot of time by automating repetitive tests. It's very simple to create a new sheet. You just need to go to the View tab, press New Sheet, select the title block family, press OK, and then choose the sheet number and the sheet name. We can do that in just a few seconds, and that's fine. But if you're in a project with 100 or 200 sheets, you don't want to do that manually. A way of avoiding this and not hating your boss so much is by using Dynamo. Dynamo is a visual programming language that you can use even without knowing anything about code at all. Instead of writing code, you're going to work with blocks and wires to connect and do the script for the tool that you want to create. Note that I'll be moving fast in this tutorial, so feel free to pause the video, slow down the playback, or maybe jump into some specific feature. At the description below, you're gonna find a download link for the Dynamo script that we're gonna do and also an Excel spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet, I have listed the usual set of sheets that we use for our building applications in the office. On the first tab, we have a set for a complex project, and on the second one, a more basic residential set for a two-story house. You can use this spreadsheet or make your own, just note that in the first column you have to put the sheet's number and on the second you have to put the sheet name. The tab name is also important so make sure to use an easy one and I suggest to put all the letters on lowercase because Dynamo is case sensitive. Save the spreadsheet and now we're gonna use Dynamo to transfer all the data into Revit. I'm starting with this project that has no sheet. The first step is to open Dynamo, so go to the Manage tab and click the Dynamo icon. You can choose to start a Dynamo project from zero, or you can just drag and drop the downloaded script. On the right hand side, this white space is where we're going to organize our blocks, and on the left hand side menu is where we can find all the blocks that we need. I like to set Dynamo as manual, so the script will only run when I tell the computer to do so. The best tip in Dynamo is to right click on the white space and just type the block name you want to use. Let's get our first block. Type sheet by name and then select the first one and drag it into the white space. On the left hand side of the block are the outputs and on the right hand side are the inputs. Right click on the block and name it Final Output. This will be the last element of our script. I find it easier to start with the last one and work my way to it. We need to provide four inputs for it to work. The name and number of the sheets we will get from the spreadsheet, but the title block and view we can get from Revit, so they are easier to find. Let's type views, select this one, and connect the wires. Now for the title block, type family types, connect the wire, and select the title block family you want to use. Know that if the title block family you want is not here, it's because you forgot to load it in the project. I don't want any views on my sheets, so the trick for it is to select a schedule instead of a section or a floor plan. That was easy, right? Let's move on to the spreadsheet part. First, we need to import it. Right click and type File Path. Click on Browse and select the spreadsheet part. a block called import excel that we will need. We have a little problem here because the output from the first block don't match the input from the second one. To fix this, we will need to work around with some other blocks. Right click and type file from path and connect the wire. Note that the sheet name in this block is not referring to the sheets in Revit, but actually the sheet in Excel, which is actually that little tab name in the bottom. There is no block for that, so we need to create a string and type down the tab name on it, which was sheet 1. Okay, our inputs are looking good. Now we just need to verify the data. Type watch and on this block we can see the data collected from the spreadsheet. Click on run and compare the results with the ones on the spreadsheet. Everything is okay so we can move on. Now I will separate this data into sheet name and sheet number. 
let's use a block named transpose. What it will do is that it will divide the data into two columns, one for the sheet name and one for the sheet number. Type get item and index twice and connect the list's output to the both of them. Let's say that the top one will be for the sheet name and the bottom one will be for the sheet number. The only thing missing now is the index value. To get it, we will need the... In programming, items start at 0 instead of 1. The first column in Excel represents the 0 index and the second column represents the number 1 index. Now in the code block, type 0 semicolon, press enter 1 semicolon, and then connect the 0 index to the number and the number 1 index. The only thing left to do now is to run the script. Press run, and after it's done, go check on Revit. All sheets from the project are now created. Be that nice person that leaves a like and comment below what other automation would you like to do on Dynamo. Thank you and see you next time.